let's have a look at Galileo's law of odd numbers today. This law is true for in general the body is having a constant acceleration, a uniform acceleration. Galileo specifically used this law for freely falling bodies. So what does this law say is the distances traversed during equal intervals of time by a body falling from rest stand to one another in the same ratio as the odd numbers beginning with unity. So this means that if a body is falling freely from rest, so it starts from here, it falls for some time t, covers some specific distance, then falls for another time t, covers some specific distance then falls for another same time t covering some specific distance then these distances in themselves these distances or these depths covered so let's write these down as the distance covered in the first time interval t the distance covered in the second time interval t all these are equal time intervals the distance covered in the third time interval t T. These distances covered in equal time intervals for a freely falling body that is for a body which starts from rest, which starts falling from rest, the distances are in the ratio of odd numbers. So H1 is to H2 is to H3 is to H4 this ratio is the ratio of odd numbers so in general hn this is in the ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 in general 2n minus 1 so where 2n minus 1 is any odd number so we have to prove this so here n stands for any integer so you have to prove these things that if the acceleration is constant and the body starts falling freely that is starts falling from rest then the distances covered in the same time intervals are in the ratios of odd numbers we have to prove this thing okay so the simplest way to prove this is using the formula for distance covered in nth second the distance covered in nth second this is given by the formula u plus a by 2 where a is the acceleration 2n minus 1 where n is the second which time interval which second this is being talked about so in general this formula can be used so this is the first time interval this is the first t second this is the second t second this is the third t second so in general the time intervals are equal but this is the first time this body is covering the time t this is the second time the body is moving for time t this is the third time so these t the value of all these t's are equal but this is the first interval this is the second interval this is the third interval so this formula can easily explain us that okay so let's do this so the distance covered in the first time interval let's say in the first second or the first time interval t this is 0 since the body is beginning from rest plus g by 2 2 into 1 minus 1 so we get g by 2 here similarly in the second time interval we get 0 plus g by 2 2 into 2 minus 1 so we get 3 g by 2 so for any number like 3 so for any number n 2 into 3 minus 1 so this becomes 5 so we get 5 g by 2 so since this is odd number this is an odd number this is a representation of odd numbers you take any time interval the answer will be odd times g by 2 odd times g by 2 so in general you take any time interval n you get odd times g by 2 so take the ratio 
take these ratios. So these ratios are S1 is to S2. So here I am taking the heights. So instead of S, we can write H also. So H1 is to H2 is to H3. That is the distance covered in first time interval, the distance covered in second time interval, the distance covered in third time interval. This is not the distance covered in three seconds. This is the distance covered in third second. The distance covered in three time intervals would be the total distance, this. But this is only this much distance. This is only this much. H3 is only this much. H2 is only this much. H1 is only this much. So we are finding the distance covered in a specific time interval only, not the total distance covered. For the total distance covered, the formula could have been S equals to ut plus half at square. This is the formula for total time interval t. This formula is for that specific time interval t, meaning the third second only, not for three seconds. For three seconds, we use this formula. For the third second, the distance covered in third second, we use this formula. Okay. So the ratios are in general, any ratio hn, the height covered in hn seconds. So do these ratios, these g by 2s get cancelled. So we get the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7. 2n minus 1, in general 2n minus 1. So we get the ratio of odd numbers. So the distance covered in subsequent time intervals for a body beginning from rest is in the ratio of odd numbers. So h1 is to h2 is to h3 are the ratios of odd numbers. Okay. So this is what Galileo's law says. Galileo's law says that the distance traveled during equal time intervals of time, equal intervals of time by a body falling freely from rest, that is beginning to fall stand to one another in the same ratio as the odd numbers. So this is the ratio of odd numbers. Okay. So this is Galileo's law of odd numbers.